Here's another comic book story that I downloaded from comicbookplus.com. This one is from Web of Mystery, September 1955, which I've read from before. And this story is called Conscience in the Witness Chair. The governor will not grant a reprieve. The execution will proceed as scheduled. Okay, warden. I'm sorry, Atkins. The governor has refused to stay. But he... he must. They can't go through with this. I guess there wasn't enough evidence for him to give the reprieve. All right, Atkins, it's time. Let's go. Someone has to believe me. Is there nothing I can do? There was nothing further Arthur Atkins could do. The plan born in the mind of Jerome Halsey was nearing completion. But... I've been on the force a long time, and there's something about this case that still bothers me. Can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's Atkins's manner. Anyway, I think I'll go down to the lab and look around. Meanwhile, all ready, Warden. Ten seconds to go. At that moment, a hand pulled down a switch. This seems the last in a series of events, but it is also a beginning. Actually, the first step began a few months ago. Shh, be quiet. We'll look in on Leroy Palmer and Arthur Atkins. They seek a way to make precious stones and they are on the verge of success. An industrious scene, is it not? Men's minds working, coils humming, tubes blazing, wires throbbing. But why, you fool! You put that wiring in all wrong. How many times? But, Mr. Palmer, that's the coil you wound. You bungler. Don't try to pin your stupid mistakes on me. Why I ought to. That's enough of that. If it weren't for me, the furnace never would have been developed, and you know it. I've worked day and night for you, and all I ever get is insults, or else I'm accused of your mistakes. Practically all of the experimenting is mine. Why, I'd take the whole thing away from you. Don't threaten me, you ungrateful pup. I ought to call the police. Palmer, you're a fraud. Your success is based on the work and brains of others. You couldn't do without me. What goes on here? Easy, gentlemen, easy. Eh, what's that? Oh, Halsey, when did you come in? What's all this about police and threats? You're both overtired. Now shake hands and forget it. Not me. I'm through. He can get some other sucker to do his brain work for him. The next night, that was quite an argument. What will happen now? Ah, here's Halsey again. How does that circuit go if Atkins hadn't walked out? Evening, Palmer. Too bad about last night. I drew out the formula papers as you requested. Certainly took your time about it. I've been waiting over an hour. Humph. <laughs> Seals seem to be all right. Forget the seals, Palmer, and turn around. The finger of fate is lifting. Stop, man. Think of what you're doing. Don't let greed control you. Take the... Oh! It's done. Now your invention is mine. Palmer, how I've hated you. Now, if the rest of my scheme works, I'm a rich man. No cares, no worries. It's got to work. Atkins will be here any second. I must be careful. No one saw me enter and no one must see me leave. Ah, all clear. At that moment, can't understand this change in Palmer. Halsey's message said to be there at nine that he wants to patch things up. Step on it, Mac. Right. Why should Atkins be coming here? What has he to do with this evil business? But now that he has set his foot within that door, he becomes the goat for Halsey's scheme. What? What happened? Who could have done this? Mr. Palmer! Mr. Palmer! He's dead. I don't get this. Looks like he was working at his desk, and... I... I'd, I'd better call the cops. Fast! Operator! Operator! Give me the police! There's been a murder! See, here are the police. 
Halsey's plan seems to be working well. Beware, Mr. Atkins. He, he was slumped over the desk with the knife in his back when I came in. I took it out. I thought he might be alive. Yet another example of a guy in a horror comic being a complete moron. We'll check the knife for fingerprints. Atkins, how did you get the red spots on your coat? It, it must have happened when I pulled the knife out. You couldn't have killed Palmer and phoned the police as a throw-off, could you? Put the cuffs on him, Oscar. Right, Inspector. But I... Next day at police headquarters... That's him. That's him. I'd know him anywhere. I drove him to the Palmer lab about 9 o'clock. He sure was in a hurry about something. Atkins, why don't you confess? Your fingerprints are on the knife and Palmer's blood on your clothes. No. No. I... I didn't do it. Poor Atkins, tightly entangled in a web of circumstantial evidence. I just heard. What is this? Murder's a serious charge. Mr. Halsey! Thank heaven you're here. I didn't do it. You know that. Of course I do. Even after a fight like you and Palmer had, I'm sure you wouldn't. What? Atkins and Palmer had a fight? Why didn't you tell us about that, Atkins? My client will answer no questions till he has had advice from counsel. I believe Atkins is innocent and I'm going to get somebody to defend him. Is that the same guy from different angles? Doesn't really look like it. I'm not sure what's going on in that panel. Whatever. And so, in a few short weeks, ironic, isn't it? An innocent man defended in court by the murderer's lawyer. It is the cream of the jest. There he sits, the picture of innocence. But the partner with whom he bought is gone. And when he was apprehended, the most incriminating evidence was found on him. And when Halsey took the witness stand, no. Mr. District Attorney, I don't believe Mr. Atkins is guilty. After all, no one saw Arthur Atkins commit this crime. True, there was bad feeling between Atkins and Palmer, but... I doubt if this man's temper was wild enough, his anger savage enough, to lead him to commit murder. If there is any doubt at all in your minds, I ask you to free this man. The jury reaches a decision. We find the defendant, Arthur Atkins, guilty as charged in the first degree. I'm innocent! It's a frame-up! Arthur Atkins, I sentence you to die in the electric chair on the night of January 12th. But I didn't do it. Won't anyone believe me? I, I swear I'm innocent. I swear it. What am I going to do? I didn't do it. That's what they all say. It, it just can't be. Let's look in on Halsey. Now that he's successfully gotten rid of Palmer and Atkins, what does he plan to do? Luck's been with me. Palmer dead, Atkins about to die, and the formula mine. Halsey, you're a genius. Hmm. Operating this firms will put a tremendous load on the power lines, but I don't dare have the heavy cables installed. I'll have to take a chance. Toil on, greedy one. How long do you think you can avoid retribution? Another few hours and I'll be done. Then, a flick of the switch and... Diamonds! All I want of them. Finished. I wish I was more certain about the wiring. One wrong connection, but why worry? It will work. And that is why Arthur Atkins, an innocent man, awaits the final step of a diabolical scheme. The switch is thrown. I suppose you think it is the executioner's hand. Well, it is. But it is the hand of another executioner. Behold! You see, justice does triumph after all. Halsey has paid for his crime. But wait, the final twist of fate is yet to come. Clancy, look, smoke is coming out of the roof of the Palmer lab. Help me break down the door. There may be someone in there. Right with you. Good thing the building is fireproof. The explosion only scorched the door a little. Say... Is this the guy that was witness for Atkins, the guy who got the chair tonight? Yeah, what's he doing here? 
hey, look, this is the formula they were looking for in the Palmer case. I know, I was on it. Gee, you don't think this guy double-crossed Atkins? Of course. No wonder that kid insisted he was innocent. It all fits. This guy, Halsey, kills Palmer and frames the kid. Blazes, it's too late. The kid got it. But he immediately phoned the warden. This proves Atkins innocent. Poor kid. I found it ten minutes after the execution. Well, I'll be. There wasn't any execution. Just when the executioner was about to pull the switch, the current failed. Atkins is still alive. He's waiting for a new date to be set. A few days later, Atkins, you are a free man. You've had a rough time. All I can say is we're sorry. So Halsey's seeming foolproof scheme failed after all, and Atkins is safe. Retribution works its own ways, inscrutable and hidden from the eyes of man. Evil can never conquer. Retribution knows. Yeah, that's called the just world fallacy, and it's really not a good philosophy to have. Uh, yeah, definitely not a good philosophy to have.